Hi everyone and welcome back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love recipe videos like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious chocolate gingerbread date balls. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make my delicious chocolate gingerbread date balls. Now this recipe is really easy to do and as the festive season is nearly upon us, I thought you might like some gift ideas. I think these make a brilliant gift to somebody and I'm going to be making these for my mum today. Mum never says no to a sweet treat, so I thought I'd share these with her and I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious chocolate gingerbread date balls. I have prepared all of my ingredients so I'm ready to go and the first thing I have done is I have removed the stones from about 150 grams of my jewel dates and I'm going to add those to my food processor and then here I have about four heat tablespoons of ground flaxseed as well. If you can't get ground flaxseed then you can always use flaxseed. Um, and I've also got four heap tablespoons of chia seeds that I'm going to add to this as well. And then in this bowl here, I have about 150 grams of pecans that are just going to go in some of my food processor as well. And then I've also got about four heap tablespoons of raw cacao powder that I'm going to add to. And then once all of those are in, I've got final ingredients I'm going to add now. So in the original recipe, I think I said to use coconut oil, but I've decided to try these with vegan butter today. If you can't get coconut oil and you can't get vegan butter, then you can always use unsalted butter or even ghee as well. I think these would be really nice with ghee too. So I'm going to add about 60 grams of vegan butter to my food processor. And then I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg to this as well. Nutmeg is a very strong flavour so you only need a little bit in here. And then I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves as well to this. So I'm just going to add that in. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of sweet, ground sweet cinnamon. Um, if you can't get ground sweet cinnamon, then you can always use cinnamon. Um, and if you don't like cinnamon, then you can always leave that out. And then I'm also going to add about two really big heaped teaspoons of ground ginger as well. Like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend all of these ingredients together. until it's sort of breadcrumby but it's glued together as well so I'm going to just take a piece or oh, actually the first thing I'm going to do is just put a bit of coconut uh, desiccated coconut sorry onto my plate and then I am going to grab a piece of the mixture and I'm going to roll it between my hands like so, so you make a big date ball like that. And then I'm going to roll it in the desiccated coconut. And as I said, these make really nice gifts for people, but they also make a really nice after dinner treat as well. So you can have these after your lunch on Christmas day if you wanted to, or you can serve these at a party too. I'm sure people wouldn't say no to a few of these. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to continue to roll the date balls in the desiccated coconut. I've finished making the date balls and I've just put them into this really nice mason jar that I'm going to give to my mum later, but I did save myself a small piece of the uh, mixture, which I'm going to try now because it, it smells so good, I have to try it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Definitely tastes like Christmas. You can taste the spices in it. 
and the coconut as well. Tastes really nice together. Mm. That is my chocolate gingerbread date balls done. That's how you make my chocolate gingerbread date balls and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'm off to give these to my mum now and I'm sure she's going to appreciate them. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.